So today we got a question from Caleb who's running into a situation where he's getting injured a lot. Now, he's been training for about two years at this point, and he's had all kinds of issues with his ribs, his sternum, his sprained ankles, everything else. And he's wondering, like, are some people just not built for jiu-jitsu? Because <laughs> he's like, I'm having all of these injuries, but my wife, who's been training as long as I have, she hasn't had any. You know, like what gives? Am I just broken? And in his message, he was saying that, you know, he's become really selective with his training partners. He doesn't roll with certain people because he doesn't want to get injured. And he says that he tries to take it a little slower and, and play jiu-jitsu one move at a time and doesn't really get after it because he doesn't want to hurt himself or hurt someone else. And so he's curious, again, you know, about these injuries. And then he says that recently... He was rolling with a white belt or whatever, and the white belt rolled some weird way and ended up getting his neck cranked, you know, in the process. And so he's wondering about these injuries, if it's a problem with him or what he could do. So, brother, thank you for the question. And check it out, man. I read your message, and I can't tell you if jiu-jitsu is not right for you because you're just, like, fragile. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I doubt that it's that you're just fragile. I mean, there, there are always going to be lots of little weird tweaks and injuries early on in jiu-jitsu because your body is getting acclimated to this crazy thing that we put ourselves through. I mean, even when I first came back to jiu-jitsu a couple years ago after the lockdowns, like my body was wrecked from it the first couple of times. Like I felt like I was in a car wreck every time I got done training. So it's amazing what our bodies become accustomed to, you know, when they get used to it. But the thing that really stood out in your message, Caleb, was that you said you like to take it slow and like you kind of take it easier um, when you're rolling with people because you want to not injure them and you don't want to injure yourself. That is okay with higher belts. Like for instance, when I roll with higher belts in my gym that I know very well and we roll with each other, I allow certain things to happen that I wouldn't allow with other people. For instance, if someone puts me in a heel hook, I've got a few of my black belts that play a lot of legs. We play legs together. And if they put me in it, I'm not worried about them like ripping my stuff off. I'm going to work on my defense, whatever. If for some reason, some brand new white belt or some young white belt put me in a heel hook and got me there somehow, you better believe I'm tapping quick because I don't want to lose my knee, right? I don't want to like lose my ACL because they're just like, I got you, rip, you know, and go. Not that they want to kill me, but again, they just get excited and they don't know their limits sometimes. I've talked about this before, but when I roll with white belts, I don't take it easy. And I don't, I'm not mean to them. I don't smash them into to bits and I allow them to play a little bit, but I keep everything very controlled. I treat it as if it's a fight. I treat it as if this person will elbow me, headbutt me, knee me in the face, fall on me, whatever, that the unexpected is going to happen. I just treat it that way because a lot of times it does. Even white belts that have been training for a little bit, sometimes they do silly stuff. And again, it's not that they're trying to hurt anybody. They're just they're playing, they're trying stuff out, and sometimes it has bad consequences. And so we got to be careful about that. Um, a really good example is that, you know, if you're rolling against a higher level belt and they've passed your guard, they've cleared your hips a little bit, and you're framing up, they'll probably work to deal with that frame and maybe block your hip and then work to finish that pass. Against a white belt or a newer white belt, sometimes you'll be framing up, you'll be on your back, force, you know, trying to push out uh, to get back to your guard. And they will do this thing where they'll turn their back to you, which again is a no-no in jiu-jitsu. And they'll do this spin where, and I've had it, had so many of them do it and they'll spin around. And there's been a couple times where, you know, when I was playing a little bit looser with them and catch an elbow to the mouth, bad time, right? So now I'm playing up here like this. I'm always playing like this and being on defense. You just have to be aware of it. So I roll with white belts as if I'm going to get slammed, elbowed, kneed, whatever else. And the positions that I play when I'm on my back, I play very tight positions, half guard, full guard. I keep it really close. If I'm on top, I'm not playing like the standing super sporty jujitsu passes where I'm bouncing around all over the place. I keep it tight because I've been kicked to it and had my knee buckle backwards and all that stuff. I keep it very tight so I limit their ability to injure themselves or me. And then again, when I get into positions, I will allow them to move and you know make adjustments and try to do stuff. But again, I keep everything tight. And I would encourage you, instead of taking this mindset of going slow, which is it's fine to go slow, but I just want to make sure you're not going like easy and light and you know just kind of moving with them. Because up against another white belt who's going, you need to be in better positional control and you want to limit it. Again, you've been training for around two years, so you'll probably have some decent positional control. You want to try to exercise that on the people you're rolling with so you don't get hurt. Um, especially with these newer white belts, because white belts will get you injured. I've had I've had a lot of little injuries from white belts over the years because of that kind of stuff, where I allow them to play a little bit. I'm kind of going slow, and then they just go. And they, again, they're not doing it on purpose; it's just an accident. But to mitigate those issues, I just keep it tight. So hopefully that helps you, at Caleb. Keep your position tight. Play good positional control when you're rolling with white belts. Don't play loose with them. And um, hopefully that'll help you avoid some of those injuries in the future, brother. Talk to you next time.